cryptocurrency, NFTs, Web 3.0, no doubt these terms have reached your ears long before clicking on this video. We've certainly been writing a lot about them at thread.com. But what do they all have in common? Well, firstly, according to common consensus, they are all the future. Secondly, they are all possible because of blockchain. So, immediate conclusions? Blockchain is the future. But if there's going to be a future, we have a major hurdle to overcome. Climate change. Here's where we hit a snag. Blockchain technology, especially Bitcoin, requires several high-powered computers solving thousands of processes at once. As you can imagine, the amount of energy this requires racks up a high carbon cost. So before we start relying on blockchain more and more, we need to move towards more sustainable sources of energy to power these impressive servers. Problem solved, right? Well, there's a bit more to it. The technology could also be used to help reverse climate change in a more direct way. First, let's give a quick rundown of what blockchain is and how it works. The aim of blockchain is to securely record and distribute data that cannot be altered. Each block consists of three sections, the data itself, the unique hash of that block, and the hash of the previous block, thus forming an ever-growing chain of information. If a block is modified, it generates a new hash and therefore breaks the chain. What makes blockchain so secure is the lack of a centralized database that could fail, become tampered with, or even be destroyed. Instead, all the data is stored in multiple network nodes in several separate locations. Therefore, if one of the nodes is compromised and the data altered, the others can cross-reference and pinpoint the source of the incorrect information and disregard it. In order to add another block to the chain, it has to be approved by all the nodes. This is achieved in a number of ways, but the one you've probably heard of most is mining. No, not that kind of mining. Mining is a proof-of-work mechanism where members of the network compete to solve a cryptographic algorithm. When a miner finds the solution and it is verified by the rest of the network, the new block is added to each copy of the blockchain. In a nutshell, the peer-to-peer -peer nature of blockchain makes information less corruptible, more efficient and autonomous. But how can this tech combat climate change? Well, let's talk about smart contracts. Smart contracts are essentially computer programs that work with blockchain to execute automatically if certain parameters are met. Imagine a world where cryptocurrency isn't just an investment opportunity, but works like regular cash, buying goods with your Bitcoin and paying for services with Ethereum. You go to stay in a hotel and the room costs 10 Bitcoin a night but there's a smart contract in place that automatically takes 10% off your bill if you use less water and electricity. Therefore, a greener stay quickly becomes a cheaper one too. This kind of system could encourage people to live more sustainably by utilizing inbuilt incentives for eco-friendly action. Smart contracts could also help us in a world already feeling the effects of climate change. Unpredictable weather patterns caused by climate change will have a massive impact on many industries but perhaps most importantly, farming. It is famously hard to get insurance for farming, and major meteorological mishaps could result in financial disaster for many farmers. But smart contracts could change all that. In terms of insurance, smart contracts would automatically pay the policyholder if certain parameters were met. For example, a farmer might take out a smart contract that promises to pay them X amount of money if there is no rainfall for 80 days in a row. These parameters would be monitored by oracles, who provide decentralized, tamper-resistant data. If there is no rainfall and the crops fail, the farmer is automatically compensated. This provides a financially stable future for the farmers, which importantly reduces the risk of disrupting the global food chain. Speaking of the food chain, we all want to buy food that is both ethical and environmentally friendly, but often it can seem like products travel through a labyrinth on their way to the shelves making it difficult to track where food comes from and easier for suppliers to lie about how sustainably it was sourced. Blockchain can make supply chains more transparent, tracking, recording and sharing every detail of your food's journey from packaging to transport to plate. A number of dApps or decentralized apps are already being developed for this purpose. And this isn't limited to food, clothing, technology and homeware could all be tracked securely with blockchain technology. 
allowing consumers to make more informed, eco-friendly choices and incentivizing suppliers to provide them. So when you read about cryptocurrency, Web 3.0 and blockchain being the future, it is less about the specifics and more to do with a general move towards decentralization and data transparency, taking the control of information away from the few and into the hands of the many. This is not only an important step for the future of technology, but also for ensuring our increasing reliance on it doesn't jeopardize humanity's future as a whole.